Hey everybody, I'm Badass Fish Eddie. Welcome back to the fish tank powered by Sneak Energy. Remember, use code FISH if you wish at sneakenergy.com. Right, what do we have for you today? Well, there's a new blog post from Beta Dwarf, the developers of Minion Masters, regarding wild cards and the future of them. Okay, let's have a quick recap. What are wild cards? Wild cards allow you to have multiple copies of a card in your deck. Um, and there's been a bit of a change with regards to wild cards recently and going forward. So in version 1.26, we had wild cards. The developers then did a survey to see what people thought of them. Then in 1.27, wild cards were removed. The developers then did another survey to see people's thoughts and a final survey after that to get people's feedback on the proposed solutions. Now, we know what their proposed solutions are going to be. Wild cards are coming back, but not quite as we know it. Let's dive in um, and let's find out more about this. The blog post will be linked down below in the description. So if you've got any uh, questions or you want to go over those, check the blog post, leave a comment. If you're enjoying the video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think of this content. Right, let's dive straight in. The return of wild cards. Okay, so as I said, wild cards in version 1.28 are going to be reintroduced, but not as we know it. So, 1v1, there will be no wild cards. Developers are uh, ensuring that 1v1s will have no wild cards. 2v2 pre mades, two wild cards as before. 2v2 randoms, two wild cards as before. So that's the first change. Wildcard's coming back in all modes except for solos. Um, and the reason they've done that is uh, we're seeing an overwhelming support of wildcards, say the developers, um, but there's also a large group that does not appreciate the feature. The majority of complaints regarding wildcards seem to be coming from the 1v1 segment, um, and conversely, we're seeing a majority of the support coming from the 2v2 segment. Therefore, um, they're looking to find a happy medium in which all players might find a game mode stroke, stroke style that suits their liking. Okay, so wild cards are back, but not quite as we know it. Let's dive in and find out about the second, uh, second change. So, they are introducing a new stat on a card called Copies Allowed, and a Copies Allowed stat can be either one, two, or three. And as you may um, jump to the conclusion, that uh, restricts how many copies of a card you can play. So let's have a look at an example here. We've got Lord Sentinel Thelic, and if we zoom in a little bit, we see this new icon on the card. Now this means wild card. Sorry, this means Copies Allowed one. So that means you can only play one copy of that card. If that was two, then you could use one wild card and have two of them. If that was three, you could use both wild cards and have three of them. Now, just to remind you, this is not for 1v1. This is only 2v2 pre-mades and 2v2 randoms. So let's dive in and see what cards are going to be affected by this. So the default is going to be copies allowed three, which means you can use both your wild cards on them. But some of them are going to be restricted. Um, and let's just, before we go in there, let's just talk about this additional statistic. I think this is useful because this gives the devs another way of balancing cards. If a card is too strong um, when it's wild carded, instead of having to nerf the card, make it more expensive, do less damage, um, this gives them another option where they can just restrict the number of times that it can be used. Um, which, looking back on things like the Brutish Betrayers, would have been very useful to have in that situation. Restless Dead, again, they could have used this back then, and hopefully this uh, this stat will uh, allow those situations to not arise again. So let's dive in. So first we're going to look at Copies Allowed 2. So this means you can use one wild card and have two copies of the following. Just a reminder, Copies Allowed 3 is the default, and then we're going to look at the, uh, the cards here that are um, affected outside of the default. So we've got Arcane Ring. Bridge Buddies, Combustion, Guardian. Now, Guardian's definitely something we've seen in pre-mades that can be abused quite a lot, especially if both players are running three of them. So now, with this restriction, there's a maximum of four Guardians that you can have in pre-mades. High Inquisitor Ardera. Again, we've seen huge problems with her in some situations, so she's going to be restricted. High Mage Leilale, Jade Spark Watchers, Unholy Ground, 
wizard path. So that's the, uh, sorry, I, I zipped over that a little bit quickly. So that's the copies allowed too. So these are the, the cards that you can only play two of. And now we're going to the copies allowed one. This means you can use no wild cards on them. You can only have one of them in your deck. So these should be the strongest of the cards or the most problematic when used multiple times. We've got bats, 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 black hole, blood imps, brothers of light. As mentioned before, the brutish betrayer. Huge problems at some points during some seasons with that card. This change will alleviate that issue. Clear skies. Um, and it, if I just go back to the Brutish Betrayer, the problem with the balancing of that card was because it was so similar to the Rammer, the devs didn't really have any uh, any way of making it more expensive because it would just be the same cost as the Rammer, um, and it shares the stats with the Rammer. So balancing the Rammer and the Brutish Betrayer was previously an issue. The Copies Allowed stat allows them to work around that and to prevent um, that becoming too strong. Okay. Crossbow Guild, Spawners are always strong, Demon Warrior, Dragon Nest, Gambler's Ball, so remember these are the cards you can only have one copy of. Okay, we got Groggy Woodsman, Jin Long, Lone Scout, Lone Wolf, Lord Fanriol, Lord Sentinel Thelic, as we saw in the example earlier, Monopuff Madness, Mountain Shaper, Nether Step, Nirvir's Breath. Again, Nirvir's Breath was a huge problem in pre-mades previously when it was wild carded. Um, it has been changed and nerfed since then, um, but this, again, this change will keep things like that in line. And then we carry on with our list. Again, these are cards you can only have one copy of still. Once Bitten, Red Golem, Ritual of Servitude, I mean, normally you wouldn't want to run more than one copy of that. Um, this is kind of almost helpful for new players because it means they won't mess up and play multiple copies of it when they don't really understand how it works. Rock Rivals, Scrapyard, Scrat Tunnels, Shen's Shockstick, that's been problematic in some decks, Stixy, Suggerlight Shield, Swarmer Totem, as mentioned before with the Swarmers like the Scrat Tunnel, the Crossbow Guild, and now the Swarmer Totem, very strong when utilised properly. Uh, and then as we come to the end of our list here, we've got the Void Altar, we've got the Wall, and we've got the Zhao Long, and finally, the Zap Shrine. So those are the changes that I wanted to go over in this video. So just to remind you, wild cards no, will no longer be in 1v1 at all. They are back for 2v2 uh, in pre-mates and randoms, and there is a new wild card stroke copies allowed copies allowed stat so the developers on a card by card basis can restrict how many times they can be used um, so that's really what i wanted to, to talk about in this as i mentioned go check out the uh, the blog post if you want to read beta dwarf's thoughts on this but hopefully gives, this gives you a, an, an insight into this now we've got another video coming up soon so keep an eye out for that on the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out that's going to be the patch notes for 1.28 over and above what we've seen here with the wild card change as well as the two new cards and a new skin that we'll see we'll find out what the new expansion is called so lots of cool stuff coming hopefully you'll stick around and check that video out when i drop it soon thanks so much for your time today guys let me know in the um the comments below what you feel about these changes um i know the wild cards has been a, a real thing that people get very heated about um, so it'll be interesting to see what your thoughts are on the proposed or the now um, implemented for 1.28 uh, wildcard solution. Uh, this has been Baddest Fish 80 here in the fish tank. See you soon. Signing out.